na wewe kwa kapa sumo amokshisha ndo skolini yu kena ndiki wewe Greetings, Ndalawande. Welcome to my creative Shibshan native blog. I'm your host, Bill Haleen. Well, November was definitely a very busy month. A lot going on and a lot to get caught up on. We launched our new coffee representation up in Whistler Blackcomb for Spirit Bear Coffee. We finished off a five-year wood project. Visited my Raven Song canoe and fixed it up a bit. And uh, launched my new website and unveiled my new book. So we've got lots to cover. My first report is focusing on the launch of Spirit Bear Coffee up at Whistler Blackcomb Ski Hills on the mainland. And we are happy to say that we have launched the coffee brand into different outlets at Whistler. So when you're visiting Whistler Mountain, you will find Spirit Bear Coffee. Enjoy. And my second bit of news comes from the carving of a long-term project that I started probably about eight years ago. And I finally got the time to put into finishing it up. I did a full recarve on this panel, the Eagle and the Orca, made out of red cedar. And uh, it is now mounted into a, a nice cedar framework with some copper inlay. That is the story of the great chief of the sky watching over his creatures on this earth. And those two wise creatures are the orca and the killer whale. Report number three is a real big story for me. I started a new website with a good friend of mine, Peter Kent. He used to stuntman for Arnold Schwarzenegger for about 15 years. We have started storyjourneys.com. Our website will be one of the main platforms for nurturing different projects that focus on developing children's stories and story video productions from ancient stories that have been passed down for many generations through Aboriginal families, tribes, and communities. We have uh, launched it through what is called a Total Snap website, which is a, a new website production business and uh, we're happy to say it's done a great job for story journeys check it out and the next great news that ties into story journeys is one of our our first big projects and while it's my first solo written and illustrated storybook and it's called the raven saves the world again I'm happy to say that this project, which started, uh, I worked on it with my wife, Sue, and she did the editing of my writing, and we had a great time working on it together, and we're very, very excited to receive it in the mail and then deliver it to my publisher, Ursula Mange, of Panabo Sales, and it will be launched in the spring of 2012. That's the release date. I'm just standing outside the uh, Ravensong Aquatic Center in, in Qualicum Beach, British Columbia, and I've just come up to do some patch-up work on the Ravensong canoe. And the Ravensong has been displayed outside of the the uh, Ravensong Aquatic Center for, geez, since 1994, I believe. We since the the last journey we took to the Olympics, we had uh, somebody at the hotel went and knocked the, uh, the bow and stern tips off of the canoe. So I had to come up here today and finally fix them and start rating it for its, its next journey. So the light's not that great here, but you can see that there was a bit of damage that I had to patch up. And it's no trade secret. Yes, that is Bondo. 
Here you can see the, the stern where it was cut off and another section broke out, cut out. Quite a mess. Always somebody making more work for us. But she's patched up. And let's just sand her down. Camouflage painted a bit. And uh, nobody know that anything ever happened to it. It's a beautiful natural setting where the Raven Song canoe is on display. Not much attention has been drawn to it unless I, I have a, a journey coming up and, and we're prepping it for the journey. But she's undercover for the most part, but handling the weather and aging well right next door to the ever busy Ravensong Aquatic Center. Thanks for joining me here at the Ravensong Aquatic Center where I've been patching up the uh, beautiful Ravensong canoe.